to Transform Cabaret Festival. I'm Heather Redfern, the Executive Director of the Cult and one of the curators of the festival. Ani Korydishnikas, my name is Corey Payette. I'm the Artistic Director of Urban Inc. and I'm the co-curator of Transform Cabaret Festival. Well, this year's festival is everything that you remember from last year's festival, only digital. It's a collaboration between Indigenous and non-Indigenous artists and using this platform to uplift their voices and to share their message with the world. Transform is featuring artists that we actually rarely get to see. They're artists who are like the creators of their own material, their own work, and they're exceptional at what they do. And we rarely have the opportunity to see them um, in this kind of a context. When we started imagining this year's festival, we never thought that it would be in Australia and Vancouver and Toronto and London in the UK. It's really been an amazing international collaboration. What it's been doing is, is recognizing that there is a way to bring these different ideas together and curate performances that can still contribute to the overall ideas and values behind this festival. Artists are able to vision a way forward. Artists are able to open up our minds and our imagination to a new world that maybe we wouldn't be able to fully understand or see on our own. When you are doing a project in collaboration with people who are not in your physical space, you still have that opportunity to make those connections and to have those conversations, especially um, right now when we're all trying to figure out how to do this. I think now more than ever, we're recognizing the levels of systemic racism that exist in our society, whether they're things that are overt or things that are more under the surface. So I'm really proud that at Urban Inc. and at The Cult that we've found a way to share that leadership together, to make sure that at every part of how we make decisions and how we operate as organizations, that we're looking at Indigenous and non-Indigenous voices being equal and working towards something together. Post show you'll be able to hear from the artists, they can answer your questions. You'll be able to do kind of a hang out in the green room with the artist and, and talk to them and learn about their work, learn about their perspectives and point of views. And of course, DJ Kukum will be playing a post-show set, so you can boogie to that as well. I have no doubt that what comes of this festival will be inspiring places all around the world to do similar things. If we were a part in, in having a, a part of creating that or putting those ideas forward of a, of a template of how that might work, then I think that's something that we can be really proud of.